he seemed really reflective as well on that Swindon game of you sort of given that a lot of thought sort of maybe on the way home with the coach or when you when you looked back on the footage Sunday Monday yeah because I, I just think um, you know we, we, we were very uh, clear where we were at and, and we knew um, I was speaking about where we were physically we're, we're a little bit behind the others and um, and in terms of our build up because of the the unusual nature of the pre-season and, and probably um, the Swindon result probably um, came as a surprise it, it, it was more the performance that that, um, that we were disappointed as a whole group and kind of very much um, put myself at the front of that um, and I think it was important that we didn't hide behind um, you, know, you know the outside influences in terms of we knew um, our squad is really weak we knew we need to have players um, but we knew going to the game with Swindon that we had a very strong starting 11 and uh, and we just didn't show up um, and, we, and we didn't play well and um, it was very important that we uh, understood why and we learned from that and we bounced back and choosing every performance that we um, that we felt was us um, and, and was um, reflective of our identity and the way we want to do things and, um, and that was clear and irrespective of the result we knew that was um, that was important for us and uh, I think that's just uh, that, that's always our, our blueprint as such and we want to show that on Sunday again moving forward. And looking forward to Sunday's game against Portsmouth? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, we've we've had some, we've had uh, what we think are some are some very good games against them over the last couple of years. Um, but uh, Kenny and, and their team will, will, will rightly tell you that they've beaten us heavily in probably all three games. Um, but we have been in those games for, for long spells, um, and I, I would suggest control them for good spells. But they have um, they have a goal scoring um, a goal scoring um, squad that can that have done that over the course of the last two years and been up there right from the start of the season to the end. So we're fully aware of how good they are and how dangerous they are. Um, but they're, they're a team that we don't fear, they're a team we're really looking forward to playing um, and we really feel we can do well against them. Stephen Humphreys has had a full week on the, the training pitch this week having completed his move to the club late on Friday. How's he settling back in amongst the squad? Yeah, great. Uh, Stephen, very popular guy here obviously uh, previously um, and he's obviously, um, I suppose it's, it's a bit cringy to say he's matured but he is just a normal player now and he's, he's established himself in, I suppose, in league football and um, from where he was at Fulham when he came here previously. So, uh, so yeah, you know what, what we've seen, Stephen is, is is kind of a guy who's kind of grown to be a real leader, um, and some of the younger players we look up to and really learn from. And he's at that stage of career where um, where he wants to be, um, where I think he wants he, he wants that responsibility, and um, and that'd be great. But uh, again, he's only just starting out with us, and I think it's uh, I think it's imperative that we all have um, a patience um, and an understanding of where he is. Um, exactly the same as the rest of the lads, and, and we can and we can focus on on the long term on the long term plan. Lauren's been obsessed about how he plays on Sunday, which I'm sure he'll do very well.